Okay, this time I'm going to do this as a manual punch applique. I much prefer manual punch. I'm not very good with automatic tools. I'm going to enlarge this a little. First thing I need to do is I want to give him some antennae. I pick up my borderline tool. And then pick up my run line tool. I don't like jumps and I travel whenever I can because it puts unnecessary strain on your embroidery machines if you keep creating trims or jumps. Okay, that's the antennae. And now I'm going to put in the head. Right and left mouse buttons. And I've got a mouse that doesn't quite fit my hand properly. And I obviously didn't get a right mouse button because I need that arc. And I drop it inside the body. I'm going to highlight that shape. If you drop down onto the bottom icon toolbar, you'll see there's a pair of scissors now highlighted. I click on that, and I'm going to cut holes for eyes. Left mouse click in the top, right mouse click, left, right, left. Hit enter. Left, right, left, right, left, hit enter. And then hit enter a second time. And that cuts holes. I'm going to highlight this shape. Fourth icon along. And that's my object reshape. And you'll see here, I've got an angle. I want to move that angle. And as I move it, the little tab on the end with a number in it and it changes and I want that stitch 70 degrees so then I hit my stop button now I don't like my hoop being forced to jump it's very tiring on the hoop so I travel this won't be seen because it's going to have a plique on top of it. So I travel down to there. I pick up this tool again. That's the parallel weave tool. And I start my shape. And I digitize under the shape that's going to cover on top. Left mouse click there. All right right a left mouse click in here my mouse is not being too friendly tonight I'm going to make a square top highlight that object reshape and I'm going to put that stitch direction straight across at an angle similar to the way the body is lying and tell that, OK, I want this one, which is his head, object reshape. I don't want the default stitch setting. I'm going to set mine for 0 0.43. And on this one, I'm going to do the same. 0 0.43. Tell that, OK. Right, now that's my main body. So now I'm going to tell that colours. Click on my red thumbnail and turn that black. If I hide the image, there he is so far. Bring the image back. There we go. And go back to objects. Green or any colour that you're not going to use. 
run stitch, a single run line, and it's this tool, it's the third tool on the right as you come down, and I'm going to put in my placement line, and I'm going to start down here, because it's close to my exit point, and I'm just going to outline my shape. My mouse is really being awkward with me. I'll finish that there. Enter that. Hide the image so as you can see. There's the green. Now at this stage, I'm just going to drop that out of the stitch mode. I'm going to highlight that, and I'm going to tell it copy, new, paste. There is my die line. File, save as. I don't want to save it into my embroidery album, so I'm going to my desktop, this one, die line. Die line, ladybug, save. OK. Now, that's my die line. Now I can get rid of it. OK, now this one, I tell it Control D and I change the colour. I'm going to make that one honeydew. I also change the stitch. A satin line, and I want it about 30. I also want the width to be about 2.75. OK, there we go. That's my tack down. Now I tell that Control D again, and I change the colour of this to, we can make it black, I go back into Object Details, I go to Satin Line, this time I tell it I want it up at between 95 and 100. I want Underlay. And I want, I think I'll just go for double zigzag. Stitch length, I only want 2.8. OK. Ah, I didn't set my width. Well, it's still highlighted. 3.5 minimum. I want to make sure my applique fabric is not going to slip. Come what may, I bring my image back up. OK, now I've got my dots, and I do the dots in exactly the same way as I did previously. Go into black, one, two, three, I'll make this one a wee bit smaller, four, and this one a little bit smaller, and this one a little bit higher. There we go. Now I want to change my colour. I put my eyeballs in. OK, I highlight that one. I come down to the bottom, hold down my shift key, select all of those, select object details, stitch spacing, 4.3 to 4.5. And I'm going for pattern 2 because it's a smoother fill. OK. And that's my applique design. Ignore that you can see this, or this. You can't once the fabric's gone on. And if we watch very quickly, maybe not that quick. Here 
Here's the head. The travel line down to the body. The dye line for you to place your piece of cut out fabric. The tack down with your steel stick. Steel stitch is another name for the borderline tool. It simply means that your stitch is equally spaced either side of your central line. And there's your satin border. And finally your details. and your eyeballs. And that's an applique using manual punch. And that's my preferred method of creating an applique. And if we open die line 1B, now I'll tell you what, we'll insert it. I'll cancel that. Embroidery, insert design, die line 1B. You take your piece of fabric that you've stitched this die line on, you've cut it out so as it's just outside the stitching mark, you put your quilter's adhesive on the back of it. I always use um, a lightweight piece of um, stabilizer under the applique fabric just to give it that teeny bit of body. It also stops the adhesive getting into the fabric, but it won't if you overspray it. That one just shows you where to place your fabric. This one tacks it down. This one finishes it off. And that's your details. And I hope that's helped you.